will show you how to download and install fonts. This website is called freefonts.com for Windows and Mac. I'm going to download this one, Horrors, which is here. There's all your fonts. Choose whatever you want. I'm going to choose uh, this one. This is the name of the font. It lives in the swamp. So when you're looking for your for your fonts, whatever program you're using, um, look for it. This is named. It lives in the swamp. Click on download for Windows or Windows Mac. I'm using Windows. Um, this is a zip file. It's not. It's not a program, so don't open it. Click save. It's not a program like you open and run, install. It's it's a file, so save it. Click save. Destination. Choose a destination. I want to choose uh, my documents. Destination my documents. Uh, click save. That's completed. Exit the window and go to the uh, destination folder where it's been downloaded. Mine's in my documents. My documents. Look for it. And there it is. It lives in the, it lives in the swamp. It's zipped. It needs to be extracted. So right click it, you can use Windows, Extract All, I'm using 7-Zip, Extract here. Wait, and then, you'll, then you've got to scroll to the bottom, and then you'll see it there, there's the font. This is just a text document. If you want to read it, just right click, open with notepad or wordpad, and it will tell you instructions about it, how to install, which do your head in. OK, uh, leave this window open and minimize it to the smallest as you can, minimize it, leave it open. And then go to start. Go to my computer. Go to local disk, which is hard drive C. Double click. Windows. Double click Windows. Uh, this is XP I'm using, so click on. Uh, folders here to show the folders pane on the left click on folders and there you see all the folders windows click on the plus sign next to it and look for fonts fonts folder A, B, C, D, E, F. and there it is fonts click on it and there you'll see all your fonts. You can change the view here. Just right click. View. There's large icons. List. Click on list. View. List by similarity. Whatever that means. Right click. View. I want to go back to large icons. OK, and go back to that file we downloaded and extracted, this one, right click and click copper. You can drag and drop but sometimes it go wrong, it means you've got to uh, delete the folder again and extract it, so copy it. Uh, OK, copper and hop your mouse into this window, 
right click and click paste and that's it job done it's pasted it's finished exit the window Um, and use whatever uh, program you're using to uh, use your text. I'll give you an example. I'll go to uh, emails, email, Windows Outlook Express. I'll create an email. Create a new email. Go to format. Click on fonts. And look for that folder what I've downloaded what I downloaded it lives in the dead and there it is uh, sorry it lives in the swamp that's it select it choose the font size I'm gonna choose 36 here so you can see it click OK and then start texting. Yeah. Yeah, choose a different color if you want. Starlight it, color red. Okay. I've got it all. And thanks for watching.